Along the southern coast of California sits Naval Base Ventura County. Personnel at the Naval Surface Warfare Center keep America's Navy number one in the world. They design, develop, and test weapon systems installed on Navy ships. Tonight, those same workers will witness the competitive skills of military boxers from installations around the world who are here to compete in the Armed Forces Boxing Championship. Good evening, everyone. I'm Van Stokes here with Tom Lavacek. We're ringside at the 2010 Armed Forces Boxing Championship at Naval Base Ventura County, California, where tonight boxers from two services battle it out for the gold medal and the title of Armed Forces Boxing Champion in the 165 pound weight class. Well, Tom, we'll be following USA Boxing amateur rules. Let's talk about some of the rules we're going to see tonight. First of all, how does a boxer score in this competition? We'll be using a computerized scoring system. Three rounds of boxing consisting of three minutes of each round. Legal scoring blows. They're scored when the white part or the knuckle part of the glove forcefully strikes the head or body of their opponent. Fouls. The common fouls are slapping, holding, holding and hitting, or pushing. The fouls lead to cautions, cautions lead to warnings, and three warnings result in a disqualification. The referee, his number one responsibility is the safety of the boxer. He can stop the bout because the boxer is injured, bleeding, or one boxer has a superior lead over his opponent. All right, thank you very much, Tom Lavacek. Now that we understand the rules, let's get to the action in the preliminaries, where in this bout, Marine Demarius Russell of Minneapolis, Minnesota, faces off against soldier Matthew Fisher of Newburgh, Indiana. Let's check out the highlights. We pick up the action late in round one. Russell's in the red trunks while Fisher is in the black. Deep into round number one, you see the attack right there of Demarius Russell of the Marine Corps forcing an eight count on Fisher. Clock continues to run. They don't stop the clock for the eight count. As you hear the bell, and that's the way round one ends. Take a look back and you see the attack right there of Demarius Russell. Quick left, quick right. And he is relentless in his attack. Referee sees that, so he moves in, delivers the eight count. Well, let's move ahead to round number three. Van, what I like about him is, uh, what I like about Demarius Russell is he is a tall boxer. He's strong. He, he's moved well, quite well in these first two rounds. He's an excellent defensive boxer. And the other thing I like about him is he's an outside boxer. Like, he's always, he's always uh, keeping his distance. Tom, we saw a pretty dominant period, dominant round, round number one. Russell won that first round by the score of 15 to 1. We called that. In the second round, Fisher, who tried to pick it up, but... Once again, Russell dominated that one by a little lesser score, 12 to 5. Now, this is round three, somewhat behind. You're going to see Fisher hopefully try to pick up the pace a little bit and take it to Demarius Russell. And, and let's see if he does here. Russell, by the way, has seven years of boxing experience. He was a 2010 Virginia Beach Golden Gloves champion. So he may have the experiential factor, if you will, over Sergeant Matthew Fisher of the United States Army. Under 20 seconds remaining in this bout and Russell keeping his distance he knows he has the lead he doesn't want to overextend himself or be incautious as the final seconds here and this bout tick away and that'll do it and Tom Demarius Russell he came out with a sense of confidence he was the aggressor he got things started and he stayed seemingly in control throughout the uh, duration of this bout uh, what I liked about him again once again he's a tall boxer and he was able to get in score his uh, legal scoring blows and then he was getting out and then the other thing he keeps his distance and he, he used that whole of that ring that's what I like about him well Demarius Russell will move on when we return we'll learn more about Demarius Russell and the Navy opponent he faces in the finals 
coming up next on TPC Sports. back to the Armed Forces Boxing Championship at Naval Base Ventura County here in California where we just saw Marine Demarius Russell defeat the Army's Matthew Fisher in the preliminary bout and Tom that was about where Demarius Russell basically took control from the start uh, absolutely did what I liked about him is he's a tall boxer he's got a great body for a for a middleweight 165 pounder and then the other thing is he scored over 30 points he scored 33 points so He's racking up the points. He's an aggressive boxer. Keeps his distance. I like this guy. He stayed busy. I like him as well. Well, our first finalist is a 22-year-old intelligent analyst who's been boxing for seven years here. We're talking about Corporal Demarius Russell. When I was like three, me and my brothers uh, always used to get in feuds. My dad uh, used to put uh, socks on our hands and told us that we had a problem. And we can do it get out of that way. So I've been boxing since young. I just started competing recently when I joined the Marine Corps. I'm boxing for the Marine Corps now 24-7. Uh, pretty much just making the Marine Corps look good in positive light. Um, helping kids bring uh, come to the Marine Corps, bring something new. One day I got a call from my original coach in the gym and he's like, hey, today you're supposed to come to the gym. You know, I was supposed to go on a date with a girl, and uh, he said, today you want to go? And I was like, hey, man, I really got a date. And he's like, no, this today's going to change your life. So then I went to the gym, and Coach Sims was there, and uh, he asked me to join the team. The I don't have nothing personal against the guy that I'm fighting. He's just going there, representing the Marine Corps, and doing what I can do. So, you know, I'm going to do I'll come out there to fight, so I hope you are too, because I want to put on the show. Russell faces off against Sailor Abdullah Johnson, who was a walkthrough to this championship bout. Now, Johnson is a logistics support specialist from Indianapolis, Indiana. Take a look. Boxing helped change my life and taught me a lot of discipline and kept me, you know, out of the streets growing up, being that I grew up in the inner city. So it was a the way it was an outlet for me. A lot of my friends made a lot of bad choices in life. I chose to go to the gym. My brother, he boxes also, he's a professional boxer. His name is Mustafa Johnson, and it's pretty much how I got started. I just followed him to the gym one day. He worked hard, just like I worked hard to get here, and tomorrow night we'll see who's the champion. Who will take home the gold, the Navy or the Marines? 165 pound championship top. What do you see? That is a unfair question because this is amateur boxing and anybody can win this. This is like any given Sunday. Perhaps a little too early to tell. But we'll see. The 165-pound championship bout is up next on TPC Sports. of intense training have come down to this the championship bout in the 165 pound weight class Maureen Demarius Russell takes on sailor Abdullah Johnson for the gold let's turn it over to ring announcer Castle Chalice as this final bout is ready to get underway now making his way into the red corner he's representing the United States Marine Corps He's an intelligence analyst from Minneapolis, Minnesota, now stationed in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. He weighed in at 165 pounds, and he is the 2010 Virginia Beach Golden Glove Champion. Let's hear it for Corporal Demarius Dumpling Russell. Well, you get a good look at Demarius Russell as he enters the venue. The Marine Corps flag right behind him, followed by his teammates. Salute to the fans. He slips in between the ropes. He's ready to get underway. And representing your own, the United States Navy. He's a logistics support specialist from Indianapolis, Indiana, now stationed in Lamore, California. 
He weighed in at 165 pounds, and he is the 2004 Indiana Golden Gloves champion. Let's hear it for Seaman Abdullah, the Quiet Stone Johnson. Well, Tom, you watch the way these boxers enter the ring, and I've got to say, Abdullah Johnson, he's ready to go. I think both of them are ready to go. They didn't walk in. They strutted in. They're, re they're ready to go. And uh, the experience factor, eight years of boxing against seven years of boxing experience, they are both evenly matched. So what you're looking at, Tom, I'm hearing you say more of an evenly matched contest, perhaps? Uh, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's going to be a, another one of these bouts where it's going to be very close again. You, you know what I call that entry into the arena? I call that the matador strut. That's when the matador comes out. He's ready to conquer his opponent. And that's what I saw a little bit in each of the boxers we're getting ready to see. Abdullah Johnson coming out of the blue corner. Has the blue shirt on him representing the United States Navy. And Demarius Russell from the United States Marine Corps again. Russell advancing to this as a result of his win in the preliminaries over Matthew Fisher of the United States Army. Here we go. We're underway. It's the middleweight, 165 pounds. Once again, these are two tall, two tall boxers, two strong boxers. And again, you can see early on, they're using all of the boxing ring. Well, they're very cautious, Tom, as they come out. I guess you talked about them being evenly matched, but I imagine they have an even level of respect one for the other. Well, I would respect both of these boxers. And a lot of distance. You look at the distance between the two, and you know you're going to see a lot of open space between each Russell in the red, Johnson in the blue. Right now, I think what they're doing, Van, they're just trying to adjust to each other. Look at the wingspan, if you will, though, on Demarius Russell, Tom. He's got those long, long arms, and I think that's part of the reason Johnson's probably trying to put distance between the two. Demarius and Russell, he's about six foot uh, two inches tall. Again, what, like you said, he's got those long arms, and he's, he's uh, right there. He's, you can see that lead. He's taking a 5-0 lead, and look at the distance he's got. Look at the quickness. He lands scoring blows to the body and then tries to move upstairs. He takes a quick 5 to nothing lead as we approach the midway point in round number one of this three-round championship bout. So he's got speed. He's got quickness. See if he's got power behind those punches as well. And a lot of those punches, he is not, he's scoring with that jab. That's how strong those punches are. You know, I'm telling you, Tom, we've watched this competition for a while, and Marine Corps coach Jesse Ravello has done a nice job with the Marine Corps boxing team. He's brought these young boxers along in really stellar fashion. We approach the one-minute mark now here in the first stanza. And the score is 6-0. to zero. Abdullah Johnson trying to get in as you were getting ready to say that's exactly what I was gonna say he hasn't scored a punch yet There's the quickness of Russell he delivers and steps out goes up by eight at this point Stick and move stick and move Okay, he's doing he's doing the Ollie shuffle. He says don't don't be doing that now This well, is amateur you know, boxing. You can't showboat as we dip that's under right. 30 seconds in this round no showboating in amateur boxing, period. They saved that for the professional ranks, in which sometimes we may have a little too much. So 9 to nothing lead right now. Make that 10 by Demarius Russell, the United States Marine Corps, the intelligence analyst from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Once again, we, we said earlier that uh, Demarius Russell will score a lot of points. He's already scored 10, pound, 10 points in this round. As round number one comes to a close. Both boxers return to their corners. And at this point, it's going to be a little bit of heart, a little bit of motivation, but strategy. Head coach Jesse Lavella, let's give him a listen. I take care of business. When we say have a good time, have a good time, get a rhythm. I take care of business. Just 
Coach Silva, I think Tom is probably saying you got to get in close. You got to make a fight out of this. Meanwhile, on the opposite tactic, you heard head coach Jesse Ravella say, don't drop down, stay up, make him try to reach you. Johnson has got to be the aggressor. He has got to come and come and come at it. And he's got to get under those long arms of Demarius Russell. Well, that he does, Tom, as we get ready for round number two. Judges are set. Ringside physician is placed. Here we go. Abdullah Johnson, United States Navy in the blue, and Demarius Russell, United States Marine Corps in this championship bout, 165 pounds, the middleweight division. Johnson is a logistics support specialist. As we heard in the introduction, the 2004 Indiana Golden Gloves champion. So you got to play it forward about six years into the present time. He's been in the ring for a while, eight years total boxing experience. The other thing I like about Demarius Russell, he's got fast hands. And, and again, look at him. They're using all of this boxing ring, more than any of the boxers I think that we've seen. And they're, and they're staying in the middle of this boxing ring. Nobody's, nobody's getting trapped in those, in those corners or against the ropes. Russell refuses to get in the corner. He will come out and dance his way. He'll go right, he'll go left, but he'll circle back to the center of the ring because that's where he can use his strengths to his advantage. And he can move defensively. As he takes a 13 to 1 lead at this point in time. And so he sends Demarius Russell to a neutral corner while we get the mouthpiece checked. Or no, we're going to adjust just, the headgear. Again, a, that it has, it has yep. to fit for safety purposes. Yep. And it's just a, a, a simple thing. Now they're ready to go again. And again, Russell, the opposing boxer, when a safety device is addressed by one of the officials, that opposing box goes to the neutral corner. He's not allowed to go to his own corner and receive coaching during that period. That's absolutely right, man. Ooh, nice flurry by Abdullah Johnson. Picks up a point there, but he's still got several to go as he trails right now by 11. Under the halfway point here in this bout and in this round, round two. And there you saw Johnson's head rock back on that jab. So, so there's a lot of there's a lot of force behind that punch. He's getting the jab in the defense. He slips in between the gloves, if you will, of Abdullah Johnson. And he's done it enough times. He's going to get an eight count. Here comes an eight count. But again, it, he's he's going to be fine, and there, he's going to go again. He's just uh, letting him take a little rest. Boom, ready to go again. Nobody hurt. No additional points credited because you receive an eight count or you force an eight count. It's merely a safety factor in amateur boxing. Yeah, and that, that's one of the things I like about it. Again, it, it's the safety of the competitor. A little different than professional boxing, but we're glad to be bringing this to you on the Pentagon Channel. Glad you're watching it. Glad you could be with us here. And right now, Demarius Russell, very effective in his combination. Leads with the right, comes back with the left, and then dances out of the way swiftly. That is the art and the skill of a good boxer. That, that last blow that he scored on was a long, straight right hand. We come down to the waning seconds of round number two. 18-point difference right now. And there's the bell. Boxers retire to their corners. The last bit of counsel that they're, they're going to receive before we get set for the final stanza. First thing you do, Tom, when you come to the corner, the coach is going to look into the eyes of his boxer. You see Coach Silva doing that. He's not overly exerting himself. But very calmly, he's addressing his boxer right now, Abdullah Johnson. You're absolutely right. Not shouting at him, not screaming at him, just giving him calm instructions and not a lot of instructions. But you talk about eye to eye contact. Johnson riveted on his coach, his coach looking directly back into his eyes. Jesse Ravella, a little more animated right now. Yeah. What you're doing. Way ahead, so we don't need to be, you know, getting anxious and like getting careless. Everything don't get careless. Everything's in good shape. You're the man, says head coach Jesse Ravella to Demarius Russell. Stay with your plan. Your work and work your plan. Sometimes, Tom, it's no different outside of the ring than it is inside the ring, perhaps. 
You know, I talked to Jesse Ravello before this bout, and uh, he's really high on him. He said he listens to him, he trains hard. He's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of hope and expectations. You learn things about being a military person, a military boxer, but you also learn things about leadership. You lead by example, and then of course you command that respect as the coach to your young boxer, and you see that simply portrayed here in this competition. 30 seconds gone in round number three of this middleweight contest. Demarius Russell, United States Marine Corps, in the red. Abdullah Johnson of the Navy in the blue. Russell is an intelligence analyst, 22 years old. He's got a great future ahead of him, I think, Tom. But credit Johnson. He, I mean, he's staying. He is staying every bit of the aggressor he can possibly be. He, he is trying to be aggressor, but once again, he's... Demarius Russell is such a good defensive boxer. Look, he scores, bam, with that right hand, that straight shot, and then he backs right out. Well, this is skill and technique, and right now you have to say the skill and technique belongs to the Marine, Demarius Russell. But again, we've seen the heart of the Navy boxers throughout the course of this competition, and Abdullah Johnson right now is leading with his heart. Gets a little off balance right there as he goes down yep. the canvas. He j just a slip, just a slip. J and uh, once again, the referee wipes off the gloves in, in case they picked up a foreign particle when his gloves touch the ground. Now, they're ready to go again. Now, here's the difference, Tom. When the skill level is equal, it's the heart that wins. But right now, you can have all the heart in the world. The technique and the skill, that belongs to Demarius Russell right now in this bout. Stick, move, dance, fake one way, go to the other. Nice movement by the Marine, Russell. Down to the one-minute mark, and this the third round of this championship bout. Russell covers nicely, moves to his left, and gets out of the reach and the way of Abdullah Johnson. And, and again, uh, we've got uh, less uh, 40 seconds left and a lot of energy in both, in both of these boxers. These boxers are both in great condition. Off the ropes, back out to the center of the ring goes Demarius Russell. I don't think either one of these boxers has, has any kind of a difficult time passing their physical examination. Two uh, finely tuned athletes under 15 seconds remaining in this bout, Tom, and heavily one-sided in favor of Demarius Russell at this point. But once again, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of action. Uh, 30, 35 points being scored. Crowd's loving this. And so, Tom, in this 165-pound middleweight contest, you saw Demarius Russell of the United States Marine Corps come out as the aggressor and basically put his skills on display for everybody in the house. Oh. The, uh, I, really, I really like this, and I like the Marine Corps boxer again. Great defensive boxer. Both boxers, however, used the entire portion of that ring. They were moving all 180 seconds, all three rounds. Give them credit. They both got after it. Well, let's go to Castle for the official call of this bout. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. And he is out of the red corner, Demarius Russell. So Demarius Russell has his hand raised. He's going to get the gold medal draped around his neck. He earned it. Rightfully so. Come on, champ. That's a pretty good show you put on tonight, Demarius. You got some lightning quick hands, and you got a jackhammer of a jab. Is that tend to be your most valuable weapon to you inside the ring? Yeah, I got a long reach, so it's got to be. And it looked like at the end he was starting to get inside. Were you getting tired, or were you just deciding to uh, put your hands up and let him swing away? Yeah, that was it. Um, I knew I'd keep my bay at when I wanted, so I started letting him get some. Well, listen, you put on a great show, and we all appreciate it. Congratulations on the championship, and we look forward to seeing you again next year. Yeah, I'd just like to say I dedicate this win to uh, we lost a Marine, um, Labardo Jimenez, and then to all the fallen in Iraq and Afghanistan. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, and thank you. Well, Tom, they always talk about boxing perhaps as being an, an individual sport, but you listen to Demarius Russell, and you sense right away there's a team workmanlike team building approach to the entire sport of boxing it's a team there's a bond between all these and uh, all these boxers and they support each other and when they lose one 
It's awful hard on him. So Russell runs away with this one by the score of 29 to 6. Well let's take a look at the bout card for next week's show. We'll have all the action in the 178 pound weight class. Here's your chance to weigh in. Let us know which sports you want to see covered on the Pentagon Channel. Email us at sports at Pentagon Channel dot mil. I'm Van Stokes. And I'm Tom Lavacek. See you next time on the TPC sports coverage of the 2010 Armed Forces Boxing Championships.